Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I start in the name of Allah, the All-Merciful, the Ever-Merciful, and the everlasting curse on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad, the Prophet, and upon his pure family. Our respected viewers, I start this episode with one of the sayings of the Master of Martyrs, Al-Imam Al-Hussein alayhi salam, when he says, a person would not forget two types of faces in his entire life, the one who helped him in the time of need and the one who left him alone in difficult times. Our respected viewers, peace be upon you and welcome to Who is Imam Hussein, a series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life, starting from his miraculous birthday, talking and mentioning some of the events and stories happened to him during his holy life and mentioning some of the prophetic quotes said in his right by his grandfather, the messenger of God, and then ending up with his unmatchable, unparalleled martyrdom. My name is Hassan Hadi, and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our dear viewers, in the previous episode, we spoke about Imam Hassan's martyrdom, and the obstacles were put and set in order to abolish his will of visiting and being buried next to his grandfather, the prophet of Islam. However, in today's episode, we will talk about what happened after the martyrdom of Imam Hassan alayhi salam and the events that took place right after the martyrdom of the Imam. Our respected viewers, as soon as Imam Hassan was martyred, Imam al Hussein alayhi salam began receiving letters of support and allegiance from the Shia stronghold of Kufa, Iraq. He ordered them to be patient and wait observing the situation while Muawiyah, Allah's curses be upon him, remained alive. Don't move from your positions, the Imam wrote, while Muawiyah is still alive. If he dies, while I remain alive, I will let you know what to do. At this time, however, Muawiyah stepped up his harassment and persecution of Shia in Kufa and elsewhere including the murder of Hajar bin Adi, may Allah be pleased with him, and his companions in Damascus. This reprehensible act served to erode some support for Muawiyah as well as increase support for Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. Eventually, when the two finally met, Muawiyah said to him, namely Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, O oh Abu Abdullah, when we kill the Shia of your father, we wash, shroud, bury and pray over them. However, the Imam replied, On the contrary, with a great severity, by the Lord of the Kaaba, if we kill your followers, we will neither wash, nor enshroud, nor bury, nor pray over them. This is because there are no burial rites for the enemy of the Shia as they are not even Muslim in life, let alone death. Our dear viewers, throughout this time, Muawiyah bin Abi Sufyan continued his campaign of persecution and murder against the loyalists of the household of Prophet Muhammad, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him. To ensure that power never returned to them, he appointed Yazid, his son, as his successor during his lifetime. Having heard rumors of dissent, the impudent Muawiyah wrote to our master, Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, news of your activities have reached me. If true, then I will never expect such things from you, and would it be more appropriate if it were false? Adhere to your commitments before Allah the Almighty, and do not force me to confront with you. If you refuse to accept me and my rule, then I will strive for your condemnation. Fear Allah the Almighty, and do not let the nation of your grandfather be divided and be drawn into sedition. Our respected viewers, what man dare ask the Imam to fear Allah? The Imam, who himself was appointed by Allah the Almighty, apart from whom all other objects of allegiance are false. Only a mind consumed with such delusional vanity as Muawiyah bin Abi Sufyan could write such a despicable massive. Muawiyah, who broke every commitment, who rebelled openly 
against two imams who murdered with impunity, including the killing of our beloved master, Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. This same Muawiyah urges our master, al Hussein bin Ali, to fear Allah. Truly using such words before Allah's Imam is begging for divine retribution and chastisement. O Master of Martyrs, peace be upon you when you were born and when you were martyred and when you will be resurrected. Our respected viewers, we have come to the end of today's episode. Let's pray that Allah the Almighty hasten the reappearance of the Master of our time to interpret the message of the Grandfather and Imam Hussein when he says, I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil. Our dear viewers, this is what we have for you in today's episode. Until we meet again, thank you very much indeed. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa